Hello, this is a video to help you with a Google Hangout Meet. So I'm going to show you how to access a Google Hangout Meet that your teacher has set up as a helps class. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my browser and go to my Google Suite. And here's the little waffle that you've probably heard a lot about. And from there, I'm going to go into my Google Classroom. Once I'm in Google Classroom, I'm going to find the name of my class, which most of you will just have one. In this case, we're going to Mrs. Baby's class. And you'll see that your teacher has most likely put the Google Hangout Meet in the stream. So once I find the class meeting, I'm going to click on it, and it's going to open up Google Hangout Meet. And there I am. So once I'm in Google Hangout Meet, I'm going to hit Join Now, and that is gonna open up the meeting. And so a couple of things I wanna familiarize you with here. Um, let's start up, up at the top. So you'll see here, it looks like little people icons, and that'll tell you who is in the meeting. So right now I'm in a meeting by myself, so I'm the only one that's gonna be listed there. But when you're with your teacher and your classmates, hopefully you'll get to see lots of your friends in there as well. This little feature up here is the chat. So this is something your teachers will probably utilize. So if you want to ask a question instead of everyone calling out at the same time, she, he or she might ask you to type your question. So um, what page are we doing? And then your teacher can read your questions and answer them. All right, so let's go down here now. Um, this little three dots here at the bottom gives you different options. Um, most of the time you're not gonna use this. The one button you might wanna use would be the layout, and that just gives you some different options on if you wanna see you know, one face and all your friends' faces here on the side, or maybe just something full screen, or maybe several friends that are, have their uh, faces a little bit bigger. The other buttons here you're not going to use most likely. Your teacher will probably use those. Um, he or she will let you know that they're going to be recording the meetings, and that's just so that if other friends from class can't join, they can watch it later so they can hear the information and um, hear what, all, what you guys talked about. Down at the bottom, again, your teacher will use that button. That's just to turn on the captions so she can see what everyone's saying. But these are some buttons that you'll want to familiarize yourself with, okay? So first we have the microphone button. So this will probably be something your teacher asks you to turn off as soon as everyone's in the meeting. And that's just so, so that there's not a lot of background noise that's picked up, um, just so you can really hear who's talking, in this case, really your teacher. All right, and then um, this button here on the right is the camera button. So right now it's turned on, that's why you're able to see my face. But if I turn it off, you'll just see whatever icon um, has been selected to represent that person. And in my case, I have a little picture there. Okay, and then in the middle, that's just the button that you're gonna hit when the meeting's over and your teacher dismisses you from the helps class. Okay, so hopefully that's been helpful. Again, if you have any trouble, reach out to your teachers. Um, you can reach out to me. We're here to help you, and, um, and hopefully we'll be able to have some interaction like this from time to time and get to see each other's faces and hear what's going on in our lives. All right, love you guys. Miss you.